this is Candia at ostitch.com. Thanks for joining in today. So I have another personalized sign for you. And of course, it is handcrafted and hand painted with folk art school bus yellow. I used a combination of yellows, but the folk art school bus yellow was one that I used mainly for the base. And the crackle finish is a combination, but I like the Ranger's Distressed Crackle. I also use a medium finish and the crackle accents and glues, but it is not overly done. This is a light crackle finish because this is going in a toddler's room and I didn't want it to appear old and crackly. I also uh, covered it in crackle accents just so the paint would not chip so I'll give you the story behind this. Her grandmother ordered this for her as a housewarming gift. Her daughter and her husband purchased a new home. They are having a housewarming this Saturday and she ordered uh, monogram towels and, and so forth for uh, her daughter and her husband and felt kind of bad that she didn't have anything for the little girl. So we wanted to do something that would um, symbolize uh, her space in the home and it needed to be quick. So this was the perfect idea for her and when she came in and she saw this, she absolutely had to have it because it's beautiful and it is beautiful. So I am super drawn to this because I am the embroidery stylist. This is actually a freestanding embroidery lace. It is absolutely beautiful. What I normally do is cut it into thirds. As you can see here, this can become a single layer or you can have it as a double layer or when you cut it into the thirds, you can use the middle part as a different lace altogether. So it definitely, definitely works. And once again, it's beautifully made. It has a lot of intricate designs. And I super love it because it pretty much goes along with everything that I do in my projects, which is uh, a combination of paper arts and fiber arts. So uh, being able to include something that is embroidered without actually having to embroider it myself definitely works for me. The Sweet Baby Girl sign, I absolutely hoard this ribbon. When I see it, I buy all of it. And I just recently found a company that was willing to sell me what they had in the store, which was about 50 yards of uh, the Sweet Baby Girl and the Sweet Baby Boy. So I won't be needing this ribbon for some time. I love it because you can stain this any kind of color. This is a studio-made glimmer mist that I tried to uh, match it to the uh, school bus yellow satin that I was using for this project and it came out very well this is actually an embellishment that I will be including in one of my summer workshops and you'll see all of the other components that this embellishment came out of and you'll be quite amazed at uh, how I use it how much I paid for it and where I got it from so um, be sure to watch some of my summer workshop tutorials to see how that uh, came about if you notice behind the ribbon, I use that single layer, that middle layer of the Wild Orchid Crafts Dipier Lace. And it provides an absolutely adorable border for this ribbon, as well as the, um, the swag that I use. So let's take a look at the swag. The swag on this personalized project is the single layer. And I just simply glimmer misted it with uh, the Smooch's Emerald Green and the Tatter Angels Olive Vine. I used two different kinds of green tones just to give it a two-tone look uh, because I wanted to pair it up with the, um, the bow, the handcrafted bow that I have above. Now, these petals are also from Wild Orchid Crafts, and what I did was I cut this one down just so you can see the petals behind it. I don't have the name of those petals only because those were free in my order and it was not labeled but they are absolutely adorable and it also stains well. I used the olive vine once again from Tatter Angels for the bottom layer and I used my studio made yellow with the emerald uh, green from the Smooch Company and the ribbons are from my studio stash as well. 
The embroidery is done in an arc under position. However, you do have the flexibility of selecting if you would like the embroidery in an arc under, an arc over, or straight across position. This option is available on ostitch.com. One thing I would like to share with you is that on Etsy, you will order exactly what you see here. But at ostitch.com, you have the flexibility of choosing the position of the embroidery, the satin color, different embellishments, and uh, staining the guy pure lace, the color that will coordinate with your personalized sign. Whereas on Etsy, you would be ordering exactly what you see here. The only thing is you do have the flexibility of choosing the color. So if you wanted to change the satin to pinks or blues or uh, oranges or reds or black, uh, you do have the option of doing that by sending the correct spelling of the name for your personalized sign you would include the color choice as well however the option of choosing everything else is not available at Etsy as it is available only at ostitch.com thanks for stopping by to take another look at a personalized sign offered at ostitch.com once again it is handcrafted and hand painted you can order this at Etsy.com as well, forward slash O Stitch Embroidery. It is not available at Zibit.com forward slash O Stitch. However, you can totally customize your personalized sign at O Stitch.com. Once again, you can always call me toll free at 1 877 553 5400, where you can speak to me directly. And if you get another member on my team, such as my shipping manager, Mike, or one of my assistants, they will connect you directly to my space and my studio. Well, that's all for today. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.